And I kind of find that humorous because what have we told people for the last two decades about the internet, what you can trust and what you can't, right? I think, you know, when um, ChatGPT was announced, what's it been almost two years ago now? The, the big fanfare around it was that it had been trained like many other models on the content yeah. of the internet. And I kind of find that humorous because what have we told people for the last two decades about the internet, what you can trust and what you can't, right? We've said, <laughs> take everything on the internet with a grain of salt. And oh, by the way, we're going to train all of our large language models on content from the internet, but it's right. totally trustworthy. I have two of my children are, are in college. And the professors are more in both of them that if you're going to be utilizing chat GDP or, or Grok or anything else, you need to validate the information that they're going to provide it may not be factual at right. that point because it's just scanning the internet is bringing that information up and right. it's doing it as best it possibly can. But a lot of people, <laughs> they, they run it through AI and they think that's the answer and that's the truth.